So, how would I change a feminist's mind? As a men's rights activist, as an MRA, how would I debate a feminist in a way that changes her mind, or his mind, or their mind? I notice more and more, maybe this has always been kind of the way it is, but it especially feels this way now, when people have political or ideological debates, it's not actually about trying to listen, it's about trying to win. It's about trying to score points, about getting the one-liner, or the zinger, or the own, or the mic drop, or the gotcha, or the whatever it is. You're just trying to win and look good, rather than actually trying to exchange ideas and both listen and hear, both teach and learn. So not only are you not really trying to learn what your opponent has to say and what they think, but people aren't even really trying to convince other people anymore. They're just trying to convince the people around them. And I've said that before, that is a good debate tactic. Don't try and change the mind of the person you're talking to. Change the minds of the people that are listening. But maybe that's not the right way to go about things. Maybe we should reconsider. How would you change the mind of a Republican or a Democrat or a Trump supporter or a men's rights activist or a feminist? What would you say? How would you go about doing it? Is criticizing and attacking and insulting the best way to do it? Probably not. So let's say I was debating a feminist and I wanted to change their mind. The first question is, on what? What am I changing their mind on? On the nature of the men's rights movement? On whether MRAs are right? On whether MRAs are necessary? On whether feminism is wrong? On whether men are privileged? On whether feminists help men? I guess the first thing you have to understand is, what are you trying to change their mind about? And a lot of people don't even really know what it is they're debating for or against. They just know that they're debating because it's our side versus their side. So let's say I was debating a feminist on, does feminism help men? Well, I would show them examples of mainstream feminist organizations supporting laws or lobbying for laws that discriminate against men and boys. Let's say I was arguing about male privilege. Well, I would show them examples where men and boys are behind. Boys are behind in school, in the education gap. Boys get lower grades for the same work. Men are less likely to go to college and have less scholarships. I might show higher male pension ages. I might show male-only conscription, etc. And sometimes these things may intersect. A feminist might say, well, conscription and higher male pension ages is a holdover of the patriarchy, to which I could go back to the first point and say, well, this is an example of feminist organizations protesting against equal pension ages or protesting against equal conscription, such as happened in the UK, Sweden, Switzerland, etc. For one or both of those issues. So when you approach a debate with someone, if you're really trying to change their minds, think about what would it sound like if they said those things to you? Insults and zingers and one-liners may be effective in getting the crowd around you to go, Oh! But are you really changing the mind of the person you're talking to? Now, sometimes it might not just be possible. Sometimes you get into a conversation and you can tell the person is just not there in good faith. They're not being honest. They're being disingenuous. And they may not even believe the things that they say. And they may know that the things that they're saying aren't true. They're not trying to have an honest debate. They're just trying to win. In that case, if you know you're not going to change your mind, you have to be careful and on your guard. But if you think you're talking to someone who is in good faith, and be careful because people can be tricky and wear different masks, then consider what might you say that might actually get this person to reconsider. Now, you're probably not going to get a complete flip. You're not going to get a complete 180 in that one conversation, probably. But if you can just show a few points make them reconsider, then that can make a big difference in the long run. Anyway, thanks for listening. I'm Blue Orange 22.